week 10 of the fantasy football season and here's a few running backs i looked at on the waiver wire this week the first guy jeffrey wilson jr of the miami dolphins to jeff wilson jr we saw him get traded early in the week last week at the nfl trade deadline and now back with mike mcdaniel who obviously was an offensive coach over there for the 49ers now he brings in jeff wilson and it was a 50 50 split right off the bat here for this Miami Dolphin backfield with Jeff Wilson and Raheem Mostert and he had a good ball game nine carries 51 yards three catches 21 yards and a touchdown and week 10 here great matchup versus the Browns they give up the fourth most fantasy points to running backs on the season so right now he's got a good matchup coming up I think we're going to see the 50-50 split we know Mostert hasn't been healthy throughout his career right now surprisingly still available in 49 percent of fantasy weeks jeff wilson he was filling in well early in the season for elijah mitchell and then christian mccaffrey obviously traded to the niners made them expendable right now it was a good landing spot for him in miami and he's a guy that could be a solid number two running back or flex option for the remainder of the season the next guy is rashad white of the tampa bay buccaneers so white he had more touches in the ball game when it was all said and done in week nine versus the los angeles rams than Leonard Fournette and White we know is a good prospect coming out of college and we know he's a good receiving back out of the backfield so right here the last few weeks he's been a guy only getting anywhere from four to seven eight fantasy points but he's getting work as the weeks have gone on week seven in Carolina six carries 24 yards a catch eight yards week eight versus Baltimore 19 rush yards three catches 24 yards and week nine versus the Rams he carries 27 yards and three catches seven yards so right now week 10 a good matchup for Seattle that gives up the ninth most fantasy points to running backs on the season. The missed ball games, obviously, Germany. And we'll see if the workload will continue here for White. I know rookies get more work after the bye week, so maybe after week 11, we'll really see an expanded role for White. But right now, in the mean term, as a bench stash, he's available in 66% of fantasy weeks. Next running backs, Jalen Warren of the Pittsburgh Steelers so Warren another youngster and coming off a bye week here reports are coming out he's probably going to see more work in a larger role for this Steelers team and Najee Harris this season really hasn't put up numbers and he's been slowed down as well with the foot injury on the year so Warren we've seen him a few flash games this season week five at Buffalo five carries 24 yards four catches 39 yards then a few weeks after that week six versus Tampa only two carries in that one week seven at Miami, two carries, seven yards, two catches, 17 yards. And then week eight at Philly, six carries, 50 yards, three catches, 25 yards. So right here, he's a good receiver out of the backfield. Najee Harris is better in between the tackles. And we could see Warren taking all that third down work and getting some series to himself. So now we have to come off the bye. We'll see an expanded role, I think, for Warren. Anywhere from eight to 10 touches is a possibility. And a guy is a low end two running back or a flex option, which is decent. And he's available in 93% of fantasy leagues. Next running back is Kywin Hill of the Green Bay Packers. So Hill, he just came off IR last week here. Now we saw Aaron Jones get banged up. But even though after the game he said he'll be all right as Jones, Hill's definitely a guy to keep an eye on here. So right now I know he only got one carry for seven yards. A.J. Dillon will take the early down work if Jones is going to miss any time. And yeah, it's definitely a tough matchup in Week 10 versus the Dallas Cowboys where it could get in a situation where the Cowboys could shut the run down if obviously Jones is out and where they're going to have to throw. So Hill, he's more of a receiver out of the backfield, like I mentioned. And he's available in 100% of fantasy leagues if you want to take a shot on him, especially if, we gonna under, if we're going to know if Jones is going to miss time or not. And the fifth and final running back I look to get on the wire this week's Dwayne Washington of the New Orleans Saints. So right now, Mark Ingram, he's out a few weeks with his injury. And Washington's the backup over there for this New Orleans Saints team. A video came out over the weekend that Kamara, obviously the off the field issues with him assaulting someone came out and was leaked and his trial is this week as well. So right now there could be big trouble for Alvin Kamara. And if you wanna get Dwayne Washington on your roster, this would be the time to do it because who knows, a suspension could be looming any week now for Kamara. And we gotta see more that comes out of the trial as well. But Washington, he's the backup over there, obviously with Ingram banged up. Jordan Howard, he got elevated from the practice squad to the main roster. And maybe him and Howard are going to fight it out for the backup position. But like I said, if something happens to Kamara with the off the field issue, him and Howard will probably be in a split till Ingram comes back. And he's available in 100% of fantasy weeks. So that's a few running backs. I looked at it on the wire here for week 10 
what a fantasy football season.